Luminous objects are objects that emit their own light, such as the sun, stars, fires, and light bulbs. When the light emitted enters our eyes, we can see the object. The way we see non-luminous objects that do not emit light is because the light that they reflect enters our eyes. When a light ray strikes a flat surface like so, it is reflected so that the angle of incidence, which is the angle between the incident ray and the normal line, is equal to the angle of reflection, which is the angle between the reflected ray and the normal line. Light rays can travel through different media like air, water and glass. When light rays cross the border between two mediums, it changes speed, which causes a change in the light rays direction. This change of direction is called refraction. When a ray travels from the air into water, it slows down and moves towards the normal. And when the ray travels from water, it speeds up and moves away from the normal. Refractive index is the amount that different materials can bend rays of light. Glass index is about 1.5. Water's index is roughly 1.3. This means that glass would bend the light ray more than water. Refractive index can be calculated using the equation sine i over sine r, where i is the angle of incidence and r is the angle of reflection. When a light ray is refracted, there is a small amount that is reflected as well. But as the angle of incident increases, the angle of refraction also increases until it reaches the critical angle. When the critical angle is reached, the angle of refraction would be 90 degrees. When the angle of incidence is larger than the critical angle, all the light is reflected. None is refracted. We call this total internal reflection. Sounds are caused by vibrating objects. When these vibrations reach our ears as sound waves, we can hear sounds. Sound waves, just like all other waves, can be reflected. Just like light waves, when sound waves are reflected, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. The reflection of sound waves are used by ships to discover the depth of the water beneath them. Sound waves can be refracted as well. You can't see this, but you can hear it. For example, when you stand at the edge of a lake, you can very clearly hear the sounds due to refraction.